The Virginia Beach police say they deal with online scams on a regular basis, but this one we're about to tell you about is very unique. A teenager was given a check from people he met online. Then the threat started and vulgar images sent to him. The family wants everyone to be warned. I need help. He just said, Mom, I need help. A decapitated head, guns, and threats of death and violence. I'm not going to lie. It, uh, it definitely freaked me out. This 16-year-old Tallwood High School football player was terrified in mid-December. It started when he got a message from a stranger on Instagram. They texted me and they said that they wanted to pay me to use my picture. His high school football picture. They sent him a $600 electronic check. Regrettably, he says he cashed it into his account. The next day, they texted me and started to threaten my life. The teen said he got repeated phone calls on his cell phone and more and more text messages with threats. They even were telling him that they knew that he was at Tallwood High School at that very moment and they were coming for him. They said, we know where you are and they said, uh, we can find you. It doesn't matter if it takes days, months or years, we will always be looking for you. The $600 electronic check they gave him was fraudulent. They were demanding the money back, which, if he followed their orders, would have been money out of his account. The pictures were pretty graphic, and if somebody sent me a picture of that with guns and decapitated heads and then a, a screenshot of my geolocation, I think I would panic. His mother says they called the bank and police. They were directed to the IC3 crime reporting website, but felt frustrated and got in touch with me. I mean, here my son's life is being threatened, and I was told to submit a... Um, inquiry on a website. The News 3i team reached out to the Virginia Beach police. The family then got a call from a detective. Police say online scams are extremely difficult to investigate. They say generally the suspects are in a different country, state, or city. They say as a local department, they do not have the resources to investigate crimes in other countries. That's why the FBI has set up the IC3 website. It infuriated me because I felt like they were targeting minors. Targeting minors, fearful of getting in trouble with authorities or their parents. They're preying on the fact that they're innocent. They're preying on the fact that they're, you know, the fear tactic. Don't tell your parents or the police because we'll kill them too. I do think that these are horrible individuals who definitely need to be stopped. Warning others to protect their online accounts. I'm gonna make my account private to uh, only people that I want me to follow because I had my account open and uh, a lot of a lot of weird stuff can go on on social media. Be on the lookout for this because I just I feel like they're targeting minors and if I could stop this from happening to one other kid I would. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.